Would you rather go on a date with Captain Lorca or Saru? Maybe Saru, just to you know, just to see what he'd like to be with an alien, you know. That kind of thing. I feel like he'd be quite. And he's nice. very sweet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Lorca's more of a drinking buddy. Whereas <laughs> Saru's, yeah, that'd be a, that's a date. Oh, Saru is a total darling. Are you kidding me? I mean, a bit of moisturiser first, obviously. Would you rather have as your roommate Michael or Tilly? I'd say Tilly. I think she'd she'd be. Uh, oh, well, I could. Quite I, sweet. Yeah, yeah, sweet. I could sort of do what I wanted. You know, make him make me some tea, that kind of thing. Whereas <laughs> Michael, she'd like to stand up for it more. Michael's quite serious. It really might be a laugh. I mean, she's all very well to, you know, help you win a war, but you wouldn't want to go for hanging out with her. Michael would like keep herself to herself. Tilly probably wants She'll to hang out jokes. all the time. She'd be doing that thing that I experience a lot in America. You say something, people go, oh, you're funny. And you think, well, why aren't you laughing? That's always the worst response when someone goes, that's so funny. Well, in Los Angeles, they don't even say funny. They go, you should do comedy. I go, you should laugh. Would you rather be able to speak Klingon or be able to Vulcan mind meld? Mind meld because that's more of a, you know, that's more of a power, more spiritual. It's a nice thing. Yeah, yeah. Who would you like to mind meld with? Benicio del Toro. Ooh. Just came to my head, just saw his face. Well, just, see, just see what he's thinking just about. Just see what he's thinking about, yeah. You know, <laughs> just how he acts, how he does it. Oh, Vulcan mind meld. He wants to be gobbing all over people all the time. No, no, no. Absolutely. Who, who wouldn't want to be able to into someone else's brain? Who would you Vulcan mind meld with? Probably my wife. We've only been married 30 years. I have no idea what she's thinking any of the time. And maybe our dog, who I drag around. You can see a poor mox in the pavement all around my block. What's she thinking? Does she I never want to go for a walk? What's the point? Well, I think you know what she's thinking. She doesn't want to go out. She doesn't want to move. She's like some stoner, some some silliness, like some terrible student. What's your dog's name? Missy. Lazy You're Missy. You're watching Missy. She just sits there and watches telly all day. Get up, go for a walk. Would you rather fight 50 duck-sized Klingons yeah. or one Klingon-sized duck? <laughs> Maybe the 50, the little ones. Really? Because you could get one of those hammer things, you know, do the like... I feel like they'd still be quite tough They'd still though. be tough, actually, yeah, actually, the hammer wouldn't work, it'd probably break. What drugs were you taking when you came up with these questions? Well, I like, the bigger they are, the harder they hit you, so I go for the duck-sized Klingons. That was just such a quick answer, like, <laughs> you'd already thought about it. Well, I fought those very, very big people before. It looks great on screen, but when they actually, because in a fight, in a fake fight, which uh, are better than real ones, you get hit. You just get headbutted and you get kicked in the nuts. It happens all the time by accident. Uh, and when I fought those giant guys, it looks great on screen. It's when they hit you, it really hurts. Would you rather fight a Klingon mm. or snog a Klingon? I'd probably snog them because the fight, they actually are so strong that it would just, you know, it just hurt. I don't want to go home making. Depends. I don't know how they snog, to be honest. That's true, actually. You'll be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a tough one because what you don't know about fighting Klingons is their heads cost like a hundred grand each. So it's all where they can hit the actor as much as you like, but you don't want to hit the Klingon because a bit snaps off and then, you know, that six month salary gone. Um, so uh, I think snog, they've got these big lips. If they had a couple of veneers on the inside, I wouldn't mind some of those big lips. Might be nice and soft. Nice and soft.